What's good, man? It's your boy House. You know what I'm saying? Right now we at the table. Uh, it's something different, man. This ain't no couch talk, ain't no reviews or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? I got my books out. Bible, of course. But yeah, man. Um, I don't know, I just want to share with y'all. I had a dream. What was it last Friday? It was crazy, man. It was crazy. More like a nightmare, for real. But, um, I'm gonna share it with y'all. Let me get y'all to run back. So, Thursday, I went to work. You know what I'm saying? It was a cool day. And I ended up helping somebody at my job, you know what I'm saying? Finish their trail or whatever. So, someone was telling me, go ahead, you know what I'm saying? Go home, you know what I'm saying? But I stayed anyway. Long story short. I got heated, and I let it get the best of me. So, I was at work, causing fuss and blah, blah, blah. So I leave, um, come home, then end up, when I got something to eat, kid with my homeboy, my cousin or whatever. So, we chill. I end up staying, some other stuff was going on too. But um, I ain't go to work that night. So I was trying to be productive, you know, record some music or whatever. The computer was out in the crazy the program, out the crazy, I got mad, let it get the best of me. Punched a hole in the wall, did extra. And it just went downhill from there, man. Just kept letting everything get the best of me. And we did end up doing a video, we did a, a the uh, spicy challenge or whatever. So that night I had a crazy dream, man. Cause I know by the fact when I came home I was supposed to read my books like my devotional, you know, be God time, stuff like that. But I ain't even do it. I just kept rolling with how I was feeling. So anyway, I had a dream. It was like a regular day, nice day, beautiful day. We chilling, we out on the porch like we would, so that probably played, you know what I'm saying, played part into it. But it was like on some end of the world type jump, like sky crack type jump. And then people disappeared and cars was gone. Like I don't know why the cars was gone, but it was basically signifying the people had disappeared and like we was left, you know what I'm saying? And then everybody was panicking, like ran back in the house and you know, like a lot of yelling and murmuring and junk like that. And I know I was like looking around like, I think I came and was trying to read my books and my Bible and stuff. But, um, yeah, well, it was crazy, man. It was like a nightmare for real, cause it felt real, man. I woke up heart beating fast and some more junk. But uh, anyway, so after that, you know, when you had a dream like that, you, you know what I'm saying? Go run to God, basically. So I was reading my uh, Bible, my devotions, and I guess I'm gonna chat this one up. This one this is what they said, you know what I'm saying? Kind of, it was speaking though, it was speaking. This one was, uh, let me see, let me see. This what? Max Lakato, yeah. So, devotional book. All right, and it was saying, uh, traffic signs and parties. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my iniquity, for it is great. That's Psalms 25, 11. And they say, we cherish pardon, don't we? I was thinking about pardon a few afternoons ago on a South Texas country road. I know it well. I, I now know the highway patrolman who oversees it. And he now knows me. He looked at me drive. He looked at my driver's license. Your name is familiar to me. Aren't you a minister here in San Antonio? And that's even funnier because I live in San Antonio. 
And you're like, yes, sir, on your way to a funeral. No, an emergency, no. You were going off a fast, I know. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you a second chance. I sighed, thank you, and thanks for giving me a sermon, illustration, on party. God has posted his traffic signs everywhere. We look in the universe and scripture, even within our own hearts, yet we persist in disregarding his directions. But God does not give us what we deserve, right? So thank you. He has drenched his world in grace. God offers second chances, like a soup kitchen offer meal, offers meals to everyone who asks, and that includes you. You know what I'm saying? So that was hard speaking to him because I was like, I messed the whole day up, like being mad and being angry. I could have just came, did my devotional like I usually do, and that would have spoke to me like, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't let it ruin your whole day. Don't go throughout your whole day mad and just letting it trickle down and just build up. Like, you can stop and start over. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could have just came, repented, whatever, prayed or read and just got my mind back focused and just went about my day peacefully. But nah, I had to be the madman. All right, so that was that. Then this is my other one. It's like a devotion to call Daily Strength for Men. You know what I'm saying? All right. And this one says, Psalm 73, 1 through 5, and 21 through 28. Truly God is good to Israel, to those who are pure in heart. But as for me, my feet had almost stumbled. My steps had nearly slipped. For I was envious of the arrogant when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For they have no pains until death. Their bodies are fat and sleek. They are not in trouble as others are. They are not stricken like the rest of mankind. But my soul was embittered when I was prickled in heart. I was brutish and, ig ig and ignorant. I was like a beast toward you. Nevertheless, I am continually with you. You hold my right hand. You guide me with your counsel and not the word. You will receive me to glory. Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is nothing on earth that I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For behold, those who are far from you shall perish. You put an end to everyone who is unfaithful to you. But for me, it is good to be near God. I have made the Lord God my refuge, that I may tell of all your works. So when I was reading that, I was like, that definitely was talking to me. Because it's like, instead of like letting everything overtake me, all I had to do is, you know what I'm saying? That's your strength. That's, that's like our strength. Like, well, that's for me. You know what I'm saying? I know I can go down for whatever I need and I can talk and be real straight up front. I ain't gotta hold back how I'm feeling. Like I don't gotta go like O D on it, but I could be honest. What I'm you know what I'm saying, straight up. So that then it was like, um they got questions and stuff too. Why did Jesus rename Simon to Peter? That was one of the questions. Man. I was answering it like because he gave, he was basically transforming them, you know what I'm saying? Giving them a new life, a new perspective. Like, I know he was like, uh, you a fisherman, but I'll turn you into what? Uh, you, you, you like a man fish or something like that. Like, instead of fishing for fish, you be fishing for souls, something like that. Don't quote me on that, but it's, it's something like that in the Bible. And then it was like, why did God choose David to be king? And I was just like, because God knew his true identity, that David was after his heart, you know what I'm saying? So that's what he chose. That's what I put. And then it was like, for what has God chosen you? And I was like, I don't know. 
know what I'm saying, like, fully, you know what I'm saying? I know I got talents and gifts like music and different stuff, and I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, honestly, me, I don't know if I would have chose me because I be messing up all the time. But, you know, he sees something I don't see. And um, it was just like why God chose you, and I was just like, I guess, because I'm not perfect, you know what I'm saying? So, if he can use me, then it's other people that might find inspiration, be like, well, he use him, and like, I know him, and he ain't, you know what I'm saying? So, I guess, because I'm not perfect. And, um, the other question was like, when you fail, how do you act toward others? Man. I, I don't know, man. I usually try to stand up for what I did, but sometimes you got the moments where you just lash out. You know, so sometimes I just handle it all wrong with people. Like, when I fail at something. And then say, how do you act privately? You know what I'm saying? When I'm by myself, I reflect on certain jokes. I'll be like, dog, that was stupid. Or I'll be like, you shouldn't have let it overtake you like that. Like, come on, dog, we better than that. So I will get at myself for sure. And then it was like, how does God want you to act? And you're like, you know what I'm saying? I suppose I still care of myself, right? Still be positive, still be good. I don't let it deter me, you know what I'm saying? Still have a great day and go forward. You know what I'm saying? Don't let it overtake you. Like, um, and it's like, it's the other question was, what does God want you to learn from your failures? And that, um, I guess that just to learn, like, the lesson between it, between what you want to do and what you know is right, what you should do. You know what I'm saying? Opposed to doing what you want to do and just saying, oh, forget it. I'm having a bad day. I just want to wild out and just do whatever. Nah. Don't let that ruin your whole day. Like, nah, duh. Okay. You slipped up. You probably tripped up, whatever. Something bad happened. Cool. But continue to do right. Continue to be peaceful. Continue to be positive. Be optimistic. You know what I'm saying? Don't let it control you and then the last question is what can you do to put God at the center of your life and enable him to be the strength or rock of your heart stand connected man the real man just dialing in on your relationship with him spending time getting to know him talk to him pray um, worship with him just stand connected and don't like, even if you have an off day, don't don't let it interrupt your connection. You know what I'm saying? Talk to him like your God. Look, I ain't feeling this day. There's a lot going on. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I want to snap. I want to do this. Like, this is how I'm feeling. But don't let it overtake me. You know what I'm saying? You bless me with this day. So even if I am, even if the day is a horrible day, you bless me to see it. And I don't deserve to see it. But you allow me to, so. I can't trip, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Keep that in your mind when you're having a bad day. Because somebody ain't making it to see that day, and you're tripping about the day that you got to see. Like, you got to breathe and live, and, and you want to be tripping. Like, nah, dog. There's a bigger picture than that. Get out your feelings. And then at the end, it's like a prayer they have. So it's say, Father, even when I fail, you remain a steadfast rock, solid unwavering, immovable, unfailing. Hey, Amen. That's, that's the real, you know what I'm saying? So I was just up, man, read that, and I was like, that could have avoided me from all that. You know what I'm saying? And then I had read, and I'm not going to read all of it. I probably sum it up in the best of my knowledge for what I, you know what I'm saying, took from it. Uh, give me one second, one second. Yeah, I know it's different, y'all. I know y'all won't expect nothing like this. Me neither, but that's what I was giving them. I'm gonna they gonna put it out because it could be a test, you know what I'm saying? It could be God talking to me like, hey, dog, 
what you gonna do with it? You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna just keep it to myself. Like, oh, I had it, but no, for sure. Other people probably went through the same thing or feel a certain way or whatever. I don't know, man. I ain't no prophet or nothing like that, but I'm just me and y'all, my honest truth, you know what I'm saying? What, what happened, whatever. But anyway, I was coming from, I read John, John chapter 7, read the whole chapter. And I'm going to just try to skim through it a little bit. All right, like, starting off, it's like talking about Jesus, brothers, disbelieve, and, you know what I'm saying? And um, then it was like the heavenly scholars, and could this be Christ, Jesus, and the religious leaders? The promise of the Holy Spirit, like who is he rejected by authorities and all that. So to sum it up, what I had took out of this is he's like, all right, this is Jesus. He coming into, you know what I'm saying? Like what he's supposed to do and whatever. And it's like people around him is like they don't really believe him or they ain't someone like y'all been around me yet. You like y'all don't know me. And like he coming in too, like himself. So he had to deal with all that. You know, that's frustration. Like you be frustrated. Hang around people they like still not believe in you or don't know who you are. And all this other stuff and like he was rejected and stuff like that and all the religious leaders and stuff. And then you had people trying to rush him into it and he's like, yo, this ain't my that ain't time for that yet. And then as he was coming into all that, it's just it's a lot he was going going through. And it's like through all that he still kept his dignity. Like he wasn't and I'm pretty sure of course he got mad at people, but you know what I'm saying? He won't really tripping or let it ruin his day. He still stuck this plan and his mission what he had to do. Cause you know that's what he had to do. But it's just like, um I had a better way of saying it, how I summed it up before I started the video, but you know, man. I need to probably read it and probably get jump started about what I was thinking. Let's see. Like uh verse thirty six. What is this thing that he said? You will seek me and not find me, and where I and where I am you cannot come. You know what I'm saying? Like that's scary dog. Like that go back to my dream. It's like like some crazy don't happen in the sky base like the sky cracking type thing but it wasn't like it was different man it was kind of like but that's that's what i'm summing it up to be so then like we everybody running and screaming and hollering whatever and it's like what i do i go to my room and try to read my books and stuff and my bible and all that and it's like dog what if that was for real you know what i'm saying like i don't know who when when what's gonna happen or how's gonna happen none of that but I'm just saying like what if it was that time and I let my day trickle down and let my anger get the best of me so it's like dog that's a trick of the enemy man you know what I'm saying you don't like you can't you like you gotta be up on your feet like cause he whatever way you can slide in there to get you off your, you know what I'm saying, and shake you off your spot, he to do it. Like I said, first it was the junk at work. And he like, oh, okay. That got him hot, huh? Bet. Then I come here, the laptop's acting crazy. I can't record and all this other junk. He like, oh, he, go, he will let that get to him too. And I let that ruin my whole day and shake me off my spot and just wild. I do what I wanted to do. But what if that was that was the end? Would have been too late, you know what I'm saying? It could have been too late, I don't know. But it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, you let that, like, no, nah, dog, you gotta stay prayed up and you gotta just keep going. Don't let nothing shake you off that course, off that, you know what I'm saying, off that path. It's narrow, it's quick, easy to fall and slip. But you can't, you gotta go ahead, get back into it, and keep going forward. So, just to sum this whole thing up, like, man. Don't let the enemy shake you out your spot. Don't none of us never know what time, what could be our last day, anything. You know what I'm saying? So get yourself right. Stay prepared. Stay prayed up. 
Keep it real, God. Start a relationship with him if you ain't got one. You know what I'm saying? Seek and search for yourself. Don't just take my word for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm giving you my truth and my life and, you know what I'm saying, something that I live. But I encourage y'all to seek for yourself. Learn to know him. I ain't saying trying to be all religious and jump, but start a real life relationship with him. Talk to him. He'll talk back. You know what I'm saying? It ain't always verbal or audio. It could be in books. It could be other signs. It could be he talk. Just, you know what I'm saying? Try him. And I know right now it ain't the most populist thing. People ain't trying to talk about God. People ain't trying to hear about no Jesus. People ain't trying to nothing. Everybody, oh, we gods and we this and we that. Yeah, whatever. I'm talking about my personal junk. I believe in God. You know what I'm saying? I ain't create nothing on this. Nothing. I don't, like, nah. Everybody and all this. Like, yeah, forget all that junk. I just say start a relationship. Get the moon for yourself and just build. You know what I'm saying? You go be times, you go fall, of course. We all is. Ain't nobody perfect. But I say get a shot. You know what I'm saying? For yourself. Don't take other people's word. You know what I'm saying? You got people that will tell you something that's good. About, oh, yeah, that ain't crack. It's crack. It's good. It's good. And then you be like, taste it. Be like, oh, I don't like that. Or, oh, dang, it was good. But try for yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's all I can say. But to sum it up, that's all I got, man. Don't let nothing shake you off your square out your spot. You feel me? Keep going forward. Keep being positive. Keep being optimistic. Keep being better. Keep searching and seeking and just, you know what I'm saying? Stay positive. Don't be out here all this, like, like, nah, dog. Don't, don't let it shake you off. Because it, it'll just go trickle. You know what I'm saying? Like, you never know. But, man, hopefully I explained that right or did it right. I don't know. But, you know, that's what I'm going to leave y'all with. Uh, y'all yeah, stay prayed up, man. And, uh, like I said, man, test it for yourself. Man, really, you know what I'm saying? Seek, learn, pray, talk, whatever. And you can be real with God, man. You are. Uh, I suppose put this back on that page. It was John 7. But you can be real with God, man. You can talk to him. Don't be be cussing and doing all that junk when you talk to him. But, you know, just be real with him. How you feeling and where you at with it. Yeah, will meet you. Where you at? You know what I'm saying? I ain't got it all together, man. I still be battling a whole bunch of junk. I be wanting to do a lot of junk. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I do do it. You know what I'm saying? I repent and try to keep it moving and try to be better, but you're human, dog. But that's the only way we're going to get through it and be better is you got some seeds, man. Some good seeds. You know what I'm saying? Feed your spirit. Watch what you're watching, paying attention to, and what you're listening to, and like all that junk. You know what I'm saying? Like your eyes is the window to your soul, so whatever you see on the outside can eventually get on the inside if you let it. You know what I'm saying? That's what you feed in yourself. Um, but yeah, man, that's that's about basically all I got. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully I know what I hopefully I did good at it. I don't know, but I'm just putting it out there. But yeah, man, that's all I got, man. Y'all have a good night, good day, whatever. Um, be blessed and all that and yeah man just stay on your P's and Q's and you know that's it man I don't that's all I got I can't put it in no better way but uh I'm gonna let y'all yeah man